in case two of trigonometric integral in the radicand, there is a constant square plus x squared. If you take a look at the pink integral, I have one square plus x squared, so a is equals to one. So according to case two, we have to let x equals to a times tangent, which is one times tangent. And then to rewrite the dx, we have to take derivative on both sides. So dx is equals to the derivative of tangent is equals to secant square and then d theta and then this dx will be replaced by secant square theta d theta and then what about the 1 over x square the 1 over x square so the not the 1 was 1 plus x square so the x square is 1 plus tangent square theta right so tangent square theta and then 1 plus tangent square is equals to secant square and then take the square root of that, you have a secant. So the top is a secant, so let's do the integral. The top is a secant, and then the x is tangent, and then the dx is secant square theta, d theta. So one thing that people do immediately is they multiply the secant on top, so that is a secant to the third, theta divided by tangent theta, d theta right but let me tell you this won't work so this one i've just make, make, make a note right here so this will not work don't go this don't go this path it will not work so what will work so what will work is you will have to you will have to rewrite the secant square so this one you will have to rewrite the secant square so secant theta and then tangent theta so the secant square, put that as 1 plus tangent square theta, and then d theta. And then you do a distribution. So distribute that, so you have a secant divided by tangent times 1, no change. And then when you do a tangent square, multiply the fraction, then you have secant times tangent. All right, and then you can break this down into two integrals. So the first integral is you have a secant divided by tangent d theta. We will do another rewrite. And then the second one is secant theta, tangent theta, d theta. That is equals to a cosecant, the second integral. That is just equals to a cosecant. But the secant and the tangent, uh, we are going to do this. And I know that it's not obvious. That's why you need this experience. That's why you have to do your homework. 1 over cosine, and then the tangent, I will do a sine divided by cosine. So as you can see, the cosine will be cancelled. Then this becomes the integral of cosecant theta d theta. The two, the two cosines got cancelled. 1 divided by sine is equal to cosecant. And then this, the integral of that is just a secant theta. And then what is the integral of uh, the cosecant? So the integral of cosecant, let me just do it right here. So the integral of cosecant theta d theta has two different answers. I should not say two different answers. They are exactly the same. They just look different. So the first one is ln absolute value of cosecant minus cotangent. The absolute value is not optional because you cannot guarantee the subtraction is negative. And the other one is uh, there is a negative in front of the ln. So the other one is negative ln and then absolute value cosecant plus cotangent. And then regarding this integral, the integral of cosecant, if you want to take a look at this demonstration, you have to look at one of the previous video. I make one video to explain how the integral of cosecant works. So you have to look for that video. It must be in the same playlist. All right. So this one, which one I will use? I don't want to have the minus hanging out. So I will just use the first one. I don't want to, I don't like having the minus sticks out. So that will be just ln absolute value cosecant theta and then minus cotangent theta and then plus secant theta. Do not celebrate yet. We are not done at all. So this one, I just finished the integration and then the answer is in theta. However, if you look at the given integral, the given integral is in dx. So how do you go from theta back to dx? Then you have to use the right triangle trigonometry. So I would do that in a different color. So the right triangle trigonometry. So let's draw a right triangle first. And then uh, this is your 90 degree. This is your theta. And then uh, 
how about us adjacent opposite and hypotenuse so to find out those you have to look at the very first line you wrote which is what you let x be so you let x be one times tangent theta right so you let x equals to one times tangent theta that means x divided by one is equals to tangent theta keep the x in there so tangent tangent is toa right so tangent is uh, opposite toa opposite divided by adjacent so x is in the opposite then this is x adjacent is one and then what about this this is a, a square plus b square right so one plus x square all right and then uh what else you have to do a secant right to make this better to make your experience better i will just write this down sokatoa s-o-h c-a-h and then t-o-a okay so let's do the secant so the secant should i do a secant first or i should go left to right okay let, let's do a cosecant so cosecant c-s-c that is the opposite of sine right so that is a uh, what that is not s-o-h that is h-o opposite I mean hypotenuse divided by opposite so hypotenuse is the square root and then opposite is uh, opposite is x and then we have a cotangent cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent so toa so for cotangent that will be aao adjacent divided by opposite and then secant so secant is the reciprocal of cosine. Cosine is CAH, then that will be HA. Hypotenuse divided by adjacent. Hypotenuse is the square root. Adjacent is the one. Okay, so let's put this back. This is already in terms of X. Then we put this back. So we have LN, absolute value. The cosecant is square root divided by X minus cotangent and then plus cosecant divided by one or I, I'll just keep the one in there and then you add C to it so that's it that is the final answer to this integral all right so that is the end of this video if you think I picked the best problem for the discussion and I the, this the explanation is clear let me know in the comment below please 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 like the video for me share the video for me subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so appreciate your help see you all in the next integral signing off for now